或许爱国往往是一个最大的一个改变人的动员力。过去在叙利亚难民跟中东难民里头，美国的态度，不管民主党还是共和党，相当一致 ，say no， 我们不欢迎。可是这一次，美国不止民主党，连共和党，而且是最保守的福音教派，都非常欢迎阿富汗难民。根据《Washington Post》。《华盛顿邮报》跟美国的电视 ABC 的民意调查，百分之六十八的美国人表示，他们认为他们愿意接受经过审查安全的阿富汗难民，只有百分之二十七的反对，而且支持人当中有超过一半，百分之五十六是共和党人，因为他们认为这个时刻是展现这些人是我们在。阿富汗的盟友是爱国的时刻，所以同样的难民在叙利亚议题里头，他们认为哦，这里头只要有百分之一的人，甚至只要有十个人是 ISIS， 是恐怖分子，那就很可怕了。你防不胜防。可是这次美国，即使是右派，甚至越右派的人越欢迎阿富汗难民，这是一个非常大的改变。美国最后一架班机飞离喀布尔机场后，本周全美的焦点都集中在阿富汗北边的另一座机场。But at this airport in Mazar al Sharif, satellite images show a standoff. Commercial planes that could evacuate about 600 passengers, some believe to be Americans, reportedly blocked by the Taliban. A top Republican calling it a hostage situation. On Tuesday, Blinken said this. And it's my understanding that the Taliban does not、uh, deny. Exit to anyone holding a valid document, but they have said that those without valid documents at this point can't leave. But because all of these people are grouped together,、um, that's meant uh, that uh, flights have not been、uh, been allowed to go. 正当全美的关注都在这几架飞机时，另一组美国人成功通过陆路安全逃离。A senior State Department official says the U.S. helped those citizens make it across a land border and into a neighboring country. U.S. embassy staff at that border saying the Taliban were aware of the crossing and did not impede their transit. 在卡达的记者会上，卡达外交部长其暗示喀布尔机场很快会恢复客机起降。We have already、uh, dispatched our teams there to provide uh, uh, technical assistance that is required to bring the airport and make it up and running again. Today we can confirm that a Qatar Airways charter flight with U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents、uh, on board, departed the Hamad Karzai International Airport this morning、uh, and recently landed in Doha, Qatar. It was the first international flight from Kabul airport since U.S. forces left Afghanistan in chaos nearly two weeks ago. The Qatar Airways 777 manifested some 200 passengers, more than 30 American citizens and permanent residents invited to leave on the flight, but it's unclear how many of them were on board. Landing hours later in Doha, the passengers, some from Britain, Germany, and Canada, disembarking before setting off to their next destination. The White House saying the Taliban had been cooperative. Afghan 仍有成千上百人想离开却走不了，其中有些人绿卡过期，有些人是美国公民，和欧奈一样。Onai Payam and her husband Farid, both American citizens, were only supposed to be in Kabul for four days. That's you. That's me screaming. One last trip to see family and celebrate his brother's wedding before the Taliban took control. The trip turned into an urgent evacuation. They registered with the State Department and tried to get to the airport, but crowds of desperate Afghans, some with visas, most without, blocked access to the gate. We couldn't get in, and that's when we decided to go back and just wait. Is to wait for a better plan. The plan came with help from friends in the U.S. who got them a contact inside the airport. They tried again, this time at night. You stop breathing at that moment when you see them, thinking, "Okay, they know who I am, and they are going to take me." But they let you go. But they let me go. 
They were taken inside to wait. I had to wait for like more than 24 hours. Did you tell them you were American citizens? I did a couple of times and I was being told that everyone is the same here. When she finally did get an evacuation flight through Uzbekistan, her husband Farid decided to stay behind and help others get out. We both were in state of survivor's guilt, thinking why was I the privileged one who managed to get in where there were women with their small kids screaming for help. Infants left unattended. Small kids left unattended. They're did you see these kids at the airport? Yeah. Were there a lot of them? There were a lot of them. 难民的惨况以及想到这些人之中 Phoenix, uh, Arizona is home to thousands of refugees and as our governor Doug Ducey said, we uh, are welcoming refugees. As in a church family, we also welcome refugees. We 他是鳳凰城福音教派的牧師,他在教會發起了對阿富汗難民的募捐,幾天前他的評論登上了紐約時報. Even the most right-leaning isolationists within our sphere recognize the level of responsibility that America has to people who sacrifice for the nation's interests, said Caleb Campbell, the evangelical church's lead pastor. 纽约时报是这么说的：美国跨越政治分歧，欢迎阿富汗难民，这不是单一事件。全美各地不同政治光谱的人们都动员起来，积极欢迎阿富汗人。We have bedding and clothes, um, microwave and houseware stuff that we had extra. Vicky Terry says she saw the ask on Facebook and decided to gather items she no longer needed and put them to good use. It's heartbreaking what they're dealing with. I'm just so grateful that maybe they'll have a, a good home here. So I'm happy for that. She and dozens of others are filling up room after room at the Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Portage, which is just one of the drop-off sites. We've just learned from the Department of Homeland Security that 60,000 people have come to the United States as part of these evacuation efforts from Afghanistan. 6% of those are legal permanent residents of the United States, 11% of those are Americans, 83% of those, of course, the vast majority are Afghans coming here to re settle in the United States. It's unclear exactly how many Afghan refugees will be arriving in West Michigan or when. A Christian service organization that's working on finding housing has committed to take up to 350 Afghans across the state. Pastor here, Rachel Lachlan, says these items might not look like much, but when you're starting with nothing, it means everything. Six years ago in September, the image of a drowned Syrian boy face down on a beach in Turkey awakened many Americans to the Syrian refugee crisis. The terrorist attacks in Paris three months later, which killed 130 people and wounded hundreds, fueled a political backlash and undermined public support for refugees. 在最新公布的华盛顿邮报与ABC新闻民意调查中 Who are these people? If 1% of them are ISIS, it's all it takes, Mr. Davies said. But Governor Doug Ducey of Arizona, a Republican, said recently that the state welcomed Afghan evacuees. Democratic State Representative Dr. Randy Freeze tweeted in support of the governor, saying in part, he was glad to find common ground with the Arizona GOP. Could someone dangerous come? Perhaps. It's still worth the risk.